one, that, that's the new Mac Pro. It's a quad Xeon 64-bit workstation. Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be taking a look to see if these older Mac Pros are still worth it. So the model I have here is the 5.1 Mac Pro. This is the quad core edition from mid 2010 2012. So let's go ahead and open it up. There's a neat little panel release like lever here that you can pull up now what this does is it releases the side panel from the system and we could just lift that away taking a look at the inside you will notice that it's not completely stock I've gone ahead and upgraded the graphics card in here to Nvidia GTX 960 as for the RAM this system has 24 gigs of DDR3 memory these two are just a couple of HyperX Furies, and these ones are the ECC. As for the CPU, inside is an Intel 2.8 GHz quad core Xeon. And for my drives, I have two SSDs in RAID 0, and then two drives for storage. Taking a look at the back of the computer, we have the power input. We have our output for the graphics card. Now this is not the stock GPU. The stock GPU was an AMD one so that's why there's no Thunderbolt. Here we have USB 2.0 not 3.0 but the best part of the system is you have open PCI slots so if you do want to put a USB 3.0 you can through PCI adapters. For those doing heavy audio production, we also have optical audio line ins and outs, as well as dual ethernet lines. To get some better connectivity, I've also upgraded the wireless adapter to a TP-Link AC1900. So that's a big boost from the included airport card. Now the big benefit of the system compared to other Apple computers on the market is you have a wide variety of upgrades that you can do so you can go ahead and swap out the processor you can change the graphics card you can change the hard drives you can add more optical drives with other apple computers you don't get that option so with some of the iMacs you only have options for ram or hard drive or even the new mac pro you may you're not able to upgrade the graphics card maybe just storage and memory so here you have a wide variety of options another neat thing is that the cpu tray is actually modular so if you push on these two tabs you are able to lift out and pull out the cpu tray to dust it off or make any ram upgrades or changes that you need to do can all be done just like that so there's no having to take out a large amount of screws or anything just push the tabs and pull it out now the same thing goes with the hard drives as well the same tab you use to take off the panel you can easily slide in and out the hard drives by unlocking them and sliding them out and just removing the back panel screws and replacing the hard drive. Now if you are looking to purchase a system like this, I recommend choosing the 12 core or 8 core processor edition. This is because the quad core that I'm showing here tends to be slow at times. Then again it all depends on your usage. If you are looking for something that you're just trying to do iMovie or basic applications, then a system like this is great. But if you're trying to edit or render video at 4K, I recommend choosing a 12-core system. 
The only negative side about this system is there is lack of support from Apple since it's an older computer. It's hard to find parts since most of the Xeon processors in here are outdated and it is quite a heavy and large machine. Overall, if you're looking for something that's modular, easy to upgrade and provides great performance, I still recommend picking up this computer. So that's it for this video. Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching!